Welcome to the future of education, where the lines between the physical and the digital worlds blur, creating unparalleled learning experiences. My name is Ganna Pogrebna, I'm a director of AI and Cyber Futures Institute, and today we will look at some of the most exciting technologies that help us revolutionize classrooms. At the age of uh, AI, lecturers no longer lead human teams, they lead human-machine teams. So machines are in every classroom at the moment. We have tools like ChatGPT, Bing, Microsoft Copilot, DALI, and others helping us and sometimes hurting us in the classroom. So it is very important to incorporate uh, tasks that would allow us to use uh, GPT-type products or generative AI products in learning experiences. Students will use those technologies anyway, and um, banning them simply will not get us anywhere. So it is very important to have uh, assignments that would incorporate bits and pieces of different technologies, like, for example, Microsoft Copilot, that allows us not only to um, ask questions to the technology, but also uh, gain valuable references that would teach students how to incorporate reference work and do literature reviews. Another type of technologies that we currently have in classrooms is coding aids. It's very difficult to learn coding. We've all been there, or some of us have been there. And um, when, we, when we try to teach students about uh, machine learning models or convolutional neural networks, it's incredibly difficult to explain how they work, how they learn. Now we have tools like Teachable Machines from Google, where you can have immersive experience uh, with machine learning models without the necessity of coding. So you can have coding experience without actually coding. Isn't that great? Flashcards. I personally love flashcards. Flashcards help us remember things, learn things, um, and revise. And now we have tools like Quizlet that uh, allow us to quickly generate online flashcards that are very interactive and are helping many students learn materials seamlessly. Tools that help us read PDFs. Well, very often we have to read very lengthy PDFs and extract information. Tools like ChatPDF, and there are many, many GPTs at the moment that allow us to read PDFs and extract information. Those tools are very, very useful in classroom. Learning tools like Socratic, where you can devise your own quizzes, you can ask academic questions, you can find relevant YouTube videos to explain a particular concept, are very useful as well. We can learn foreign languages with uh, online technology and digital technology. For example, apps like Duolingo allow you to learn various languages in a matter of several lessons. Isn't that fantastic? Gamification is a big part of every lecturer's job. I personally use Kahoot that allows me to create interactive quizzes, and I always like to have these quizzes both at the beginning and at the end of the class to check what my students knew at the beginning of the class and what they actually learned at the end of it. Robotics tools. Well, robotics tools are extremely powerful. Uh, from good old programmable LEGO solutions to B-Bots to other bots to robotic dogs that we use in the Institute, all these tools are incredibly interactive and allow your students to quickly see what they can do with the physical world, not only with the digital world. Dot and Dash robots allow us to have uh, very interactive experiences and uh, learn seamlessly both programming tools and uh, understand the blur between the physical and digital environments inside and outside the lab. Augmented reality tools, virtual reality tools, and the metaverse are really powerful in the classroom. Everyone can design beautiful avatars and have really interactive experiences in interactive and um, uh, digital classrooms. Uh, this is a really fantastic experience for any student. For example, in tools like Engage and Mozilla Hubs, we can recreate uh, classroom digitally, and each student can have very personalized experience that they really want to have. We also can design digital labs. 
uh, immersive labs that have seamless experience with science. For example, the tools like Labster uh, allow us to completely recreate a science lab and have science lessons in there in complex scientific environments explaining very complicated scientific con concepts without actually being in a physical lab. At the universities, we're currently educating people who will be retiring in 50 years' time. And we have all these fantastic tools that could help us. But new technology in the classroom can be both friend or foe. And it's very important to talk to your students about the potential dangers of technology, to talk about the environmental impact that it could have. The fusion of AI, robotics, and metaverse in education is not just about adopting new tools. It's about reimagining learning journey, making it more inclusive, interactive, and impactful for everyone. If you want to learn about new technologies that I talked about in this video, and possibly more, check out our media blog at the AI and Cyber Futures Institute.